Good morning. Uh, t this morning, um, God gave me a really massive vision and a, a vision, and I will probably talk to you guys about it another time. Um, but for today, at the end of the vision, one of the things that the word the Lord said to to me was to study. And um, reason why God told me to study is when I asked Him, okay, so what does this vision entail or mean? And God was telling me go study the word and it brought me back to um, 2 Timothy 2.15 and it says study to show thyself approved unto God is a workman that that re need it not to be ashamed rightly dividing the word of truth okay and so as, as believers as uh, men and women of God we are to constantly um, be seeking truth. And how do we seek truth? Through the word of God, because the word of God is truth. And there's no, oh, I believe this part, I don't believe this part. Yes, there's parts of the, the Bible that is culturally based, like they, they, because of the time and the season that they lived, culturally they, um, they spoke from that place in their culture. But the, the, the meat of the, the word of the God speaks to us even now. And we must um, ever be on guard as we read the word that we don't trust, we don't twist it or misapply it. And, uh, and, and a lot of times we can apply, apply the um, certain parts of the, the Bible to how we feel or what we need at that time. And so um, God was showing me that um, we, we must not do this, okay? We must be diligent to um, read and pray for understanding. So as we're reading the word of God, we must pray for understanding because um, without understanding, then you operate in ignorance. And with understanding comes the knowledge, right? And when you have knowledge, then you pray for the wisdom to utilize that knowledge. How do I apply this knowledge to my life? When you handle yourself appropriately with the word, you don't need to be ashamed, right? That's why it says a workman that um, that reads his word, it can rightly divide the word of truth. That means that when things are happening around you in this world, when we see things happening, when we hear people saying certain things, because the word of God is inside of you, you can rightly divide that word. That that, that word you can divide that word that person is speaking to you. I mean that you can you can um, tell if that person is um, speaking truth or speaking a lie. And so as they speak to you, you can um, confer upon what they're saying, or you can say, um, mm -mm, that that does not resonate with me because it does not line up with the word of God. So whatever people teach you, right, it must line up with the word of God. It must line up with what's in the word. And so um, the word of God is, um, is, is truth and it's life. In 2 Timothy, the, the verse before that, um, the, the verse before that in 2.14, um, it says, um, um, Paul stressed the importance of living faithfully before God, even to the point of suffering. Now, it doesn't mean that we look for ways to suffer, because some people, when they read that, they mean, oh my gosh, I must suffer, so I must do without, I must not have this, I must not have that, or, or I can't go here, I can't do this, can't do this, because I must suffer. No, God is not saying that you must suffer, but in, in obeying the word of God, in listening to the word of God, in, in, a, in, in following the word of God, you will suffer. Right? Because there's a lot of things, the restrictions that restricts you inside. It restricts you from saying, get emotion. It restricts you from being a certain way around people or accepting certain things. And so the word of God restricts you. It constrains you from, from doing the things that you want to do. And, and it, um, it, 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 um, if you, if we, if you listen to the spirit of God that is inside of us, we want to do the things that God says we ought to do. We, we want to be the people of God. We want to be the people of God that God desires for us to be. And, and, and God shows us um, um, 
that we ought to be. And so the word of God, um, when we, as we read it, as we allow it to get inside of us, as, as it allow, we allow it to, to be a part of our very system, our very um, um, bloodstream, it, it, um, it becomes life inside of us and it breeds life through us. And so whenever anything or anyone that is, that is ungodly or that is, um, that is saying something ungodly um, um, is around us, we feel kind of like, a, okay, all right, something is wrong. Or, or, okay, let me see what's going on, right? Because why? The word of God is in you and it's dividing what that person is saying. It's dividing truth and lie. It's dividing um, good and evil. Right, and so that's what the word of God God does. But in order for it to do that, we have to have it inside of us. We have to be the word of God. The word of God has to be so much a part of who we are, and our very being, our very existence, our very very breath that we breathe has to be the the word of God. And as we breathe in that word, as we take in that breath. It brings life to ourselves. It brings life to our bodies. We won't have mental issues. We won't feel stress. We won't feel We won't feel anxiety, right? Because what causes anxiety? Fear, right? But if you know who God is, if you know who your God is, you can stand in that word that He says that He will protect you. He'll never leave you. Never forsake you. That whoever is in the palm of His hands, no one can take out of that them and that you will fulfill your purpose upon this earth what happens though is that we begin to believe the lie right we begin to believe the lies that are around us and the lies that people tell us about who we are and 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 who, 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 what we're supposed to do and we fall into a trap and when we get into that trap right the enemy can wheel us around shove us here shove us there shove us all around why because we're now in the entrappings okay of our mind okay of the lies of the belief but but for god because remember um, matthew said but uh, it says my people you know who are called by my name that you will know the voice of god and you will understand the voice of god right but if the word of God is not inside of you. You can be um, led astray. You can be pulled. You can be tossed to and fro by every doctrine or every thing that somebody says can can move or shake you. But God says that in this time, I want you to study. And that's speaking to me too, because he said it to me. But I'm just letting y'all know what God is saying is help me to study. And not um, study so that we can. Oh, I can't say. Oh, I know scripture. You know what I mean? Because I don't. I have. I don't. I don't have scripture memorized like that. And praise God for you who do, right? But I know scripture. Understand? I know the word of God, right? I might not be able to say it's in Second Timothy two fifteen or two fourteen to be exact. I know that it's in the book of Timothy. I know that it's in Corinthians and stuff like that. But that's not what God is impressed with. He's not impressed by you knowing exactly where this is or where you could find that or that. He's impressed by the word of God being in you and you being the word of God on this earth and you obeying the word of God. You walking in the word of God. You being the word of God that somebody sees. That's what God is impressed with. That's what God says, smiles. And he looks upon you and he can smile and say, look at my daughter, look at my son. Look how they're loving on me. Look how they're treating me. Look how they're being me. Like, look how the example that they're setting upon the earth. Look how they're praying. Look how they're, they're, they're serving me. They're serving me by serving their brothers and sisters. They're being their brother's keeper. Okay? They're not being selfish. They're not being distant. They're not... Um, being corruptible see God looks at that and he sees that and he, he's moved that's what moves God that's what he's moved by you know he's not moved by you oh, I'm sorry God I did it no 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 that doesn't move it he already knew that you would do that he already know 
okay you already know your angst and all the things that you do that you ain't supposed to do he ain't, he ain't moved by you, all of that that don't move him but when what moves his heart they come out of when what moves his heart is when he sees you being obedient to his word when you when he sees you following his word when he sees you leading by example when no matter what nobody else is doing or saying you are holding on to that word of god and you're keeping the word of god close to your heart your mind your soul and your spirit and you're not being wavered or you're not being moved okay it doesn't it doesn't mean that you don't use wisdom guys it doesn't mean that you don't use wisdom right right you use wisdom Right, he used the wisdom of God, right? Because even Jesus was, 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 um, what knew when his when his time didn't come, he didn't stay in the marketplace. He left. He was, it's not my time yet, so I'm gonna run. He could have stayed and fight, but he didn't. There are times when we just gotta say, okay, it's not, not, this is not the time for this. I gotta go. All right. Anyways, God bless you. I hope this helps somebody. I hope the, um, this um, moved you to want to study the word, to want to know the word, to want to want to just swallow the word, to want to have the meat of the word, to want to eat and sup at God's table. Okay, He's inviting you today to come to His table and sit around it and eat with Him. He wants to feed you. Okay, and, 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 and yeah, it's great that we have shepherds and, 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 you know, and that are able, God says, I want to feed you. I want to give you some food. So come, come sit with me for a little. Won't you tarry with me for an hour, God says. God bless you. God bless you. Amen.